January 26th. Today, the church celebrates the feast of St. Timothy and Titus, two bishops of church communities that Paul himself had founded. We know of Timothy and Titus primarily because Paul has written letters to them, but Paul also includes them by name in other of his letters. St. Paul, the apostle to the Gentiles, has gone far and wide in the ancient world and has sown the seeds of Christ, of the gospel. And he needs to leave these communities in very good and reputable, dependable, reliable hands. And so through the inspiration of God, Paul chooses Timothy and Titus. These letters are known as his pastoral letters. Paul has written many kinds of, of letters or epistles, but these three that he's written, two to Timothy and one to Titus, are known as the pastoral letters because he has given them advice from one apostle to another, from one holy man to another, from one shepherd to another, indicating to them how to act, how to serve, how to lead. And he begins both of the letters, both the letters to Timothy and the letter to Titus, with these words. My true child in the faith. Paul, in fatherly words, indicates that both Timothy and Titus are his sons, are following in his footsteps, that he has given birth to them, that he has sired them, if you will, in the faith, and that through his example, they have learned, and they are to do the same, to go forth and to bring new children, children of the light, children of faith, to the world. Saints in the making, you and I, we are called to do the same. Wherever we go, we are called to bring people to Christ Jesus, that they might know him, serve him in this world, and love him forever in the next. Let's do that, my dear friends, by asking the Holy Spirit through the intercession of Saints Timothy, Titus, and Paul to give us the grace and the strength to serve and know our God here and now, that we might love him forever in the next and bring countless souls with us, please God, to heaven. You and I, we can do this by making space for grace.